It's day two here in Botswana. We're sitting in a pit blind over a water hole. Last night we had a lot of action. Kudu, Wildebeest, Eland, Gimsbach, and Springbok. There's a bunch of animals to shoot here at Tholo Safaris in Botswana, and a man could rack up a bill in a New York minute. Just stuck a really, really big kudu bull. Um, these animals are really tough. The air was zipped right through it, which was great. We had some Gimsbach come in and I nearly got a double. It's July 4th, Happy Independence Day. And so we're about to start uh, tracking the kudu. Um, so let's see how it goes. here in Botswana with Tolo Safaris and this is my kudu. Um, we've had several close calls with some great bulls and Jason kept waving me off too small too small and they look huge to me. After seeing this one come in I know why he uh, waved me off so I don't know if you can tell in the video I shot the grizzly stick uh, momentum the 250 setup it's the 250 spine arrow with a 200 grain my side broadhead and it zipped right through him no problem complete pass through the bull ran i don't know 50 75 yards and piled up under a bru under a bush so um gigantic animal I, I can't believe how big this thing is it's a dream come true to shoot a kudu of this caliber here in botswana so um let's go see what else we can get
shot it just a little too far forward, I think. It's 30 yards. Big gims buck. Big gims buck. Whew. Complete pass through again. Oh, hope I didn't. Before I got here, I did a lot of research, talked to a lot of outfitters and hunters. They said everything sits way far forward in the chest on most of these African animals. So I've been trying to get in the shoulder blade. Um, that gims buck was 30 yards. And I, I hope I didn't get too far forward on that shot, but it passed completely through and I could see it bleeding on the opposite side, so. Well, it's a pretty good blood trail. It's, it's pumping, you know, as that animal's been running, there's, there's a squirt every now and then, which is always good. You're not sure if that, that shot's maybe a bit forward. It's not lung blood. I mean, it doesn't look like a nice pink, pink lung blood, so we'll have to. It will stay on the tracks. It's good, you know, it wouldn't be pumping out of a out of a flesh wound, if you know what I mean. You might be dropping, but it looks like it's squirting out. And we'll just take a take a slow follow up, you know, just give it a bit of time. Well, we got the gims buck. Um, I made a, a marginal shot. I was so I overcompensated for not wanting to shoot too far back. I actually shot too far forward. And you may be wondering. Why is Cameron holding a $120,000 Wesley Richards 470 Nitro Express? Well, that's a very good story. Um, unfortunately, I, the shot I made on this Gims Buck was not fa it wasn't fatal soon enough. We tracked it for literally a mile. These trackers are phenomenal. They they can they can see a speck of blood no bigger than an ant, and and then they can follow tracks and the individual tracks. Three three of the Gims Buck got together and they still followed mine and we followed it for about a mile and got within 150 yards of it and we spotted it standing up it was standing a quarter and away just slightly and i had the wesley richards 470 and at 150 yards i shot the gims buck and it ran another uh 200 yards and, and fell over and we found it so unfortunately i've got to uh, register this as a gun kill um, but this is a phenomenal trophy, absolutely gorgeous here, uh, gorgeous uh, animal here in Botswana with Tolo Safaris. Um, I hate it that I had to uh, make up for such a marginal shot with a bow with a, an awesome 150 yard shot with an open sided 470, but it all came together. We got the animal and that's, that's what really matters. So uh, let's go get something else. back in the blind. We just had our Gimsbach debacle. I shot one. It ran forever. We tracked it, or these guys tracked it. I just followed in amazement. And I ended up having to finish it with a uh, double with a 150 yard shot from a Wesley Richards 470. Come on. Anyway, we're back in the blind. Still got a couple hours of daylight left. It's a very hot spot. Every, every place on this air in this whole concession or area is hot so anyway uh we're looking maybe for a zebra or a wildebeest or impala or a sasquatch y'all have sasquatch here three of them three sasquatch three quarter, yeah. so y'all stay with us we'll see what happens Springbok, there was everything here. Too dark to film, couldn't get a shot at him. 
he came back. They just came back. He went that way. The rest of the herd came to the water, and then he looped around and came right back 22 yards, and I just pinwheeled him. Whew. Man, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, we just stuck the spring buck. I'm going to go get my arrow, and I'm not, I'm not as good as these trackers here in Africa, so I've got to try to make better shots so I don't have to track them far, but y'all watch this. Here's the arrow. The grizzly stick, the momentum. A little overkill for a spring buck. It's a 650 grain setup, 200 grain broadhead. Okay. Got our arrow here. African animals are notoriously tough, but I must have made a really good shot because if you look right through there, there is my exceptional spring buck. No tracking required. Under a gorgeous African sunset. Everything you've ever heard about Africa is true. Except it's a lot better in real life. If you haven't done it yet, you've got to do it and come with Tolo Safari. You will not be disappointed. One of the prettiest antelope in Africa. All of them are really pretty. Um, it's really interesting. When they die, what, what is this? I've seen... It's called a prog. A prong. Let's set him up quickly. Gotta set him up real quick. Because that will not last. Where that hair stands up like that. It's really, really neat. Took his legs up under him. That's really cool. Um, yeah, the arrow was perfect. He only went about 40 yards. I shot him right through the shoulder there. It's a little bloody, but um, it is what it is. As soon as Jason saw this one, he said, "That's you've got to take that one. That's that's a really good spring buck with a bow." So here he is, another great, whoop, another great uh, Botswana trophy with Tolo Safaris. zipped right through it um, and he was jumping a lot but it was it, it's a, it was a good shot I'm really happy about the shot uh, but these animal, African animals are tough it's, it's you've never got them until you've got your hands on them so man I'm pumped up that was a good buck that was a good buck real good ram that's a good ram so I guess we'll give it a few minutes he didn't, he didn't jump the stream, he had his issues, he was, he did not jump the stream, he said, is that done drinking? Whew. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Another great trophy here in Botswana with Tolo Safari. We've been after Impala, uh, I mean the whole time we've been here, but uh, Jason said he had a, a special spot that he knew uh, good Impala frequented, and this morning we had uh, two or three good bucks come in, and this one was a, it, it was the best, and it presented the best shot. It was 25 yards uh, across the pan there, and uh, made a great shot on him. I was very happy with how the again the grizzly sticks did a complete pass through, uh, very ha great blood trail. You know, I know it's not a it's not a huge animal, 
um, but still it, it, it was a great animal to take with a bow and I'm very happy with it and so uh, we got a, another few days to hunt uh, still trying to get a zebra and a, a blue wildebeest um, so those are the last two on the list here in Botswana uh, we're winding down unfortunately but uh, we're still going to hunt hard and give it our best shot and see see what we can get killed one more dog but that thing is a giant oh my gosh it came in and <laughs> it walked off and went back and I, I said finally I just said I can't I cannot leave Africa without taking a warthog of that caliber that thing is a giant no tracking required on that guy grizzly stick broadhead put him straight down we're gonna go get him Drag him out there behind the blind and hopefully maybe get a zebra or uh, a blue wheel to be spooled. So, y'all stay with us. circled the water, came right here perfectly broadside. You could not have asked for a better shot, a better uh, shot opportunity, and I stroked him, and he's laying right over there. Tolo Safaris, Botswana. Right there's the blind we were just sitting in. Right here's the water hole. Here's the arrow, okay? The bull was standing at the water hole right there. Not a real long shot, but I mean, it's a real tough animal. Let's see, let me show you how far the arrow went. complete pass through covered in blood and if you'll look right there not 50 yards away is one of the toughest animals in Africa to kill a huge blue wildebeest let's go check him out he's done he's done he's done whoa 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 God, look at this bull I can't even hardly move him I mean <sighs> You know, I don't really know much about them, but all the other ones I've seen have been like inside of the ears, and this guy is way outside. Way, this thing is gorgeous. Put it right in the shoulder, and the man smoked. And he didn't go 50 yards. Another gorgeous African sunset. Shot the a warthog of a lifetime this evening, and the blue wildebeest of a lifetime here at Tolo Safaris, Botswana. Folks, if you're if you want to hunt Africa, they don't just do bow hunting. I mean, bow hunting is just kind of they do it, but it's not really their main thing. They rifle hunt. 
So if you want animals of this caliber and the other stuff I've been shooting, you need to give Tolo Safaris a call. Look them up on the internet and on Facebook. Book your African safari. Do not delay. Come out here and shoot giant animals like this. All right, the guys have spotted, found a zebra track, and I hadn't got a zebra yet, and we're going to try to get one with a double, and if we don't, we'll try to get one with a bow this evening. This is the last day to hunt. These zebras are so spooky and there was probably 50 of them in that group. We've been tracking them since nine o'clock and it's nearly 12. And we finally got up here. They came under this little, uh, this little opening. They've just been standing under here. <sighs> Sorry. Trying to uh, get out of the sun. And we found a good stallion. That was the only one that presented a shot. I didn't know there was that many after we shot. All of them took off running. I only saw three of them. Wesley Richard 470 Nitro from about 80 yards or so. Just dropped a zebra in its tracks, 500 grain bullet. Bill Jones, that was for you. <laughs> Let's go check this thing out. 